sewing friends on behalf of uncommonthread.com I'd like to welcome you to our video on an overview of the Saki threads. My name is Michelle Umloff and I am a certified Saki teacher. Saki has 10 different types of thread on the market and as you can see here by the list they run the gamut from cotton thread to rayon thread to polyester thread invisible and bobbin thread and decorative threads to include the original metallic thread hollow shimmer and sliver so this is a chart or a graph that I created that kind of shows the scale of the threads starting with the lightweight thread on the left hand side all the way up to the 12 weight thread which is a heavier thread on the right hand side and as you can see by the picture I have listed most all of the threads by their weight now there's only two threads that aren't shown on this picture and that is the hollow shimmer and the sliver threads because they don't follow this weight scale. So this is an important kind of concept to understand and if you don't understand this the first time, the more you listen to it, the more you'll get familiar with it. But this might help you out a little bit. The rayon thread in the 40 weight is the industry standard when it comes to your machine's built-in decorative stitches and most embroidery designs are digitized with 40 weight thread in mind. So that means if you use a lighter weight thread, you have to increase the density of your design. And that makes sense because think that the lighter weight thread is much smaller than a 40 weight thread. So you have to make that design be a little bit more dense so that it fills up all of the area. And if you're working with a heavier weight thread, then you need to decrease your density of your design. Now, in addition to changing the density of your design, you also would probably need to adjust your tension settings if you're using a weight of thread other than the 40 weight rayon thread. I've created a chart that outlines the type of needle you need to use with the variety of Saki threads. And I think this is really handy, at least to start by. So how many of you out there are kind of confused by one, picking out your thread, and two, figuring out which needle that you can use. Well, what we're going to do here is just start by selecting your thread and choosing your needle and then now you know where to start at least and then if you have more uh, fabric that is heavier or additional stabilizer then you need to increase the size of your needle now these charts are available at uncommonthread.com go under the how to video section and you can print out this presentation so you need to select the right needle for the job and in general you want to use the smallest needle possible so that the thread does not break or shred. So that's what the sh chart will sh help you with. Then you need to increase the size of the needle based upon the fabric, stabilizer, and density of the design you're working with. Remember to change your needles on a regular basis because a dull needle will cause puckering and consider using specialty needles instead of the universal needles and some specialty needles are the embroidery, top stitch, metallic needles, etc. Uncommonthread.com will give you 15% off the retail price of everything in their shop every single day. So be sure to visit uncommonthread.com Saki threads are available in a variety of sizes. There's the jumbo spool, the maxi, the king, and the snap size spool. I can't really tell you how many yards are available on each of these because it really depends on the weight of the thread. There are two different types of nice cases that the threads come in if you buy a collection. And you can even buy empty cases if you'd like. The slimline case will store up to a hundred and full four of the snap size spools and they're the smaller spools and that's really handy because it not only stores it protects your your thread and it's a great way to travel with all of your threads 
The slimline universal case, on the other hand, will hold both the king size spool and the snap spools. And it will hold up to 64 different spools of thread. And again, it's a really great way to travel with your threads and store them and protect them from the elements such as the sunlight and the dust. Saki has a lot of books out there, and the two latest releases are the Fun with Saki Blendables and Solid Color Cotton Threads, as well as the Sew, Craft, Quilt, and Embroider Confidently with Saki Stabilizers. Each of these books contain a variety of projects that feature the line of Saki products from the stabilizer to the thread to using Saki KK2000, using bobbin thread, you name it. And they have really fun projects involved um, in them also. The Saki has many, many more books to include these and some others. There's, I can tell you that the dimensional concepts in Saki is becoming an older book now and it will soon be out of print. So if you can get your fingers on a copy of dimensional concepts in Saki, you might want to do that because it's going to be hard to find. And then some of the other ones are already out of print and you might be able to find them on other places such as eBay. My name is Michelle Umloff, and I am a certified Saki teacher. You can visit me at www.sosimplified.com, and I offer a variety of certified Saki classes. Uh, the class I have listed here is In the Heart of the Woods Landscape that features some thread painting or thread sketching using Saki Cotton Blendables thread. It's a really fun project and despite what you might think, it's rather simple. There's also the confetti scarf which uses the metallic threads and then if you sign up to be one of my sewing friends you can receive the instructions for Not Your Grandma's Bowl, the class for free. So I have an online sewing area classroom that you can get the instructions and the videos for that. Usually what I do, there is so much information that I just don't have time to go over that. Um, information about the threads during this video but what I do in my classes is I give you more details about the different products so for example if you were to sign up for the in the heart of the woods landscape class you would receive a video that would give you more information about the cotton blendables thread I also do a podcast and currently I am featuring a kind of like a stabilizer along. Look me up on So Simplified Podcast under iTunes and you can subscribe to my podcast there. Find me on Facebook and give me a like. I'm under So Simplified. UncommonThread.com offers 15% off the retail prices every single day. They have threads, they have needles and a variety of stabilizers and other things that you could use for your embroidery projects. If you have any questions, email uncommonthread at comporium.net and remember to find Uncommon Thread on Facebook. Just simply do a search uncommonthread.com and you'll find us there.